Hello, this is MakerJ11, and here is my Toyota Corolla 2002, and it has a 1.8 liter engine. Um, so, I took out the spark plugs just to see what, um, it's an 8, eight cylinder, I took out the spark plugs just to see what they looked like, because I was curious. Um, and they don't look very good, um, so maybe you guys could tell me what um, this means, if you guys know anything about spark plugs. Originally, I thought that when I first pulled them out, wait, let me get the camera to focus here. Why is it not focusing? There we go. Alright, so when I for first pulled them out, I looked at the tip, at the uh, electrode there, and I was like, whoa, that is eaten away. But that's actually how these iridium spark plugs are supposed to be. So, which seems really odd to me, but whatever. Usually it's like a flat, like a cyl cylindrical shaped um, electrode. But as you can see, there's a lot of white stuff on there. This is the worst one. This is the best one. So, what that is, I'm not sure. I'm guessing it, it's probably, I was doing a little bit of research, and it looks like it's probably from, this one's actually got some black on it. Um, it's probably, maybe we need more light for the camera to focus on this. It's probably from either too lean of a mixture or too rich of a mixture, would be my guess. Um, so, I don't know, but there's the um, spark plug boots or spark plugs, or ignition coils, or whatever you want to call them. And I also wanted to make sure that none of them um, were soaked with oil, because that can um, cause misfiring. I haven't been having trouble with misfiring, but the check engine light did come on for on the one day on the way to school, and then um, it turned off after about 50 miles of driving. So I'd gu I'm guessing it was probably a misfire in the engine, because the engine, um, the check engine light usually goes back off after a while if it's something that just happens once or twice and it doesn't really keep happening so that's my guess but spark plugs go down in there as usual and um, so if this tells you anything about the spark plugs I, I'm not really getting as good of gas mileage as I'd like or as um, I mean the car does have a good bit of miles on it but I would still think that I, well I filled it up with gas the other day and um, I filled it up with 10.4 gallons, and it was at, I think I, that much gas got me 295 miles. So, about 28 miles to the gallon. So, not that great. Not as, like, not as good as I'd like to get, or as good as it's supposed to get. It's supposed to get 30 city and 40, or 42 highway, I think, is what it's supposed to get. But, I mean, that's new, of course. Um, so, I mean... Some drop would be fine, but I I mainly I probably drive about half highway, half city, so I think it'd be somewhere around I don't know like 35 miles to the gallon. Um, minus I think I'd get at least 30 miles to the gallon with this. So maybe maybe it's not burning the fuel very efficiently or something. Um, so I don't know. Um, does that mean I need to change my um, fuel filter or does it need tuned up or something? I don't know. Um, Maybe my fuel injectors are dirty, or I checked the air cleaner. It's not that dirty. It's fairly clean. I mean, it's not new, but um, so if you guys have any ideas of what that might be the problem, I'm guessing this is no. That's not the fuel filter because this says uh, EVAP service port. So I'm not really sure what EVAP is. But that's what it says. EVAP service port. I'm not sure what that is. It looks like a filter though. But I think this is the fuel line here because it goes up to the fuel rail. So, yeah, that's probably the fuel There's a little connection thing there. And it goes in the right direction. Um, so maybe it's the fuel filter or something. Um, but I feel like I drive pretty efficiently. I don't know. I mean, I don't usually drive very fast. I usually drive about 60 on the highway. So, I mean... It's not like I drive super fast, and I usually accelerate pretty slow, so I don't know. <laughs> so I think I would get better gas mileage on that, because this fan gets to about 21 miles to the gallon, and that's only uh, 7 miles to the gallon better than that, and this is a lot smaller. <laughs> so I I don't know, and it also has 4 cylinder, that's a 6 cylinder. But it's better. at least it's a lot better than the um, old van got that we got rid of. That one, <laughs> that one only got, like, I think it got 18 miles to the gallon at best. Like, because it was pretty old, it was really wearing out. But, um, 
So, yeah, if you guys have any ideas what might be the problem with that and why the spark plugs look like that, I'm just going to clean them off with a wire brush and stick them back in. I checked the gaps, and they are about um, uh, 0.4 or whatever they're supposed to be. So, because I Googled it, and that's what it seemed like you're supposed to have on these spark plugs. So, just, I think it's the largest one. Yeah, 0.04 inches. Is about what they're supposed to be, so they all looked about pretty good. I mean, the materials, I mean, it's not, they're not eaten away, it's just that there's crusty stuff on there, so I mean, I'll just brush it off and stick them back in. Or actually, it's not really, it doesn't actually come off that well. Well, I'll see what I can do, clean them up a little bit. But, um, so I'm actually thinking about, I've been looking into this, um, have heard that people can't get like 100 miles to the gallon running on gasoline vapors instead of um, the normal fuel injectors. So I actually kind of want to, I actually kind of want to hook that up to this car. And you guys also kind of a couple people suggested doing something like that um, because of all the room back here. I could put a um, gasoline evaporator back there or some kind of contraption in the in the engine compartment here and um, see if I can uh, get some better gas mileage maybe test out some sort of method. I have some ideas for that that I've been thinking up. So, yeah, maybe I'll do a video on that sometime and build something to, uh, yeah, I don't know. See, the thing is, I really want to test this because, in theory, I think that you should get at least slightly better gas mileage, um, but whether you can get what people are claiming, people are claiming they can get, like, 100 miles to the gallon, but I haven't really seen it tested scientifically or anything at all. I've just seen people claim that, so I want to really actually test that and see if you can get 100 miles to the gallon, or even even a slight improvement by running on fumes. So that's what I kind of want to do. I don't know when I'll get around to doing that, but hopefully it'll be a future project, and um, it'll be interesting to see if I... Um, I'm able to get around to doing that, I guess. But um, I don't know. It'll be fun. So um, I guess I'll just put it back together. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So any um, suggestions or comments are welcome. That's about it. Thanks for watching.